All right, now we're going to move on to the concept of discrete and continuous variables, and then also if finite and infinite. Um, now, this is just kind of vocabulary words. So the first thing, just a continuous variable, uh, simple concept, continuous variable is just a variable that can take on any values within an interval. So when, I, when, I, when we say continuous, what I want you to do is I want you to think um, anything I choose is okay. There's no breaks, there's no holes, decimals are okay. Um, any kind of value I want to pick is fine. So if you were to stop and think about, I don't know, taking a rock, we're going to take a rock and we're going to smash it with a hammer and this is my terrible hammer, I don't know, whatever, and you were to break this rock up, how many pieces could I break this rock into? One, two, three, four, right? Now if I kept smashing, would those be continuous? It's still always going to be countable. There's no decimal values, right? So therefore, that would not be a continuous value if I'm counting the number of pieces I'd smash this rock into, right? It's always going to be it's always going to be a not continuous because I couldn't say I'm going to break it into 1.7 pieces, right? That one makes sense. Now, if we talk about the size of the pieces though, what is the size that could get broken up into? 1.5 Inch, let's talk radius. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. 1.5 inch radius. That would make sense. 1.1 inch. Sure. Why not? 1.001 inch radius. Absolutely. Right. I can pick any number I want um, because I can always break it into some size. If I kept smashing it, I can make it into microns. But any number you pick is feasible. And it's okay that it has a limit. You might start off with the limit saying my whole rock started off being, I don't know, um, 17 inches in radius. So it's okay to have a limit saying um, that it can never be bigger than 17. That doesn't change the concept of continuous. The idea of continuous is just saying, given your restrictions, um, you know, I can never have a bigger number bigger than 17 because I'm not going to start gluing on pieces to this rock, right? But the idea is any number smaller than 17, I could smash it, I could smash it up and get it smaller and smaller and smaller and to any exact radius that I want. Okay. Now, discrete, on the other hand, is, is what we were talking about before. This would be the number of pieces okay, um, that we would break the rock up into. So I could break, I could smash into one piece or two pieces or three pieces or four pieces, right? This is discrete because it is a variable that can be rep represent only a specific set of numbers or an isolated numerical or isolated numerical values. So, so meaning it can't take on anything. There, they, it would be nonsensical to say 0.7 pieces. Right? That doesn't make sense. Um, so that is kind of the concept of discrete. Okay, so those two can never be be put together. You can never have a discrete and continuous variable because uh, they are they are um, mutually exclusive exclusive of each other. Now, moving on, finite and infinite, okay, a finite variable means that uh, the a finite variable means that the variable has a limited or countable amount. There is, now that number could be gigantic, it could be 7 billion, but it's still countable. Um, so going back to the rock example, if I smash this rock up into as many pieces as I could possibly smash it up into, at some point, we, it, it is finite. There is a certain number of, of pieces that's possible because at some point we're going to have grains of sand, right? It might be 10 billion grains of sand, but we still have a countable number. That, that rock will not be broken up infinitely. Okay. Where So that brings us to our next word, which was infinite variable. Now, infinite means that it is unlimited. It is never ending. Um, so if you believe in out, that outer space is ever expanding, uh, then that would be infinite because it's always growing. It will never end. So the amount of space in outer space would be unlimited or never ending. So therefore it is infinite. Okay. So here's just a couple practice problems. And what I want you to do is we're going to identify the variable defined, we're going to define if it's a finite, infinite, discrete, and or continuous. So we're, we're going to kind of 
usually pick up pick two of them uh, and they'll, they'll work for everything um, each problem will have two answers is what I'm saying so here we go you are in a marble factory that is producing green marbles as fast as you can imagine so it's doing it really really fast and will continue to do so forever I left off the word forever here but we'll put that in there let X be the number of green marbles is this is the number of green marbles finite infinite discrete or continuous and or all right so take pause the video take a shot at it and see which which ones you think it is it's going to be two it's always going to be two okay all right here we go um so the first thing i'm going to point out is finite and infinite are mutually exclusive you can't have right b both at the same time just like we set up here for continuous and discrete so essentially it's going to be one of these it's either going to be discrete or continuous and since we are talking about the number of marbles this comes down to that same idea of i can't have 1.7 green marbles so therefore this is discrete right this is discrete um and is it finite or infinite well since they are going to be making these marbles forever we are going to say it is discrete and infinite done all right so now try the next one pause the video give it a shot here we go let x represent any number between one and two all right is this a, ra a random variable is this random variable finite infinite discrete and or continuous well all right um it is most certainly continuous right why is it continuous well because by definition i can pick any number i want between one and two right so therefore i could pick the number of 1.1 or 1.01 or 1.001 and they all make sense having any value i want makes sense okay then it is going to be uh sorry infinite because um there is no limit to the number of of numbers to choose from right i could tell you sit here and do this until you run out of numbers 1.0001 just keep adding a zero in here until you run out of numbers right you'll never run out uh, that didn't want to work but anyway zero 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 one right because you can always just keep adding zeros forever and ever 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 and if you are just listening to this this is me highlighting and circling and and doing everything i can with the word infinite right <laughs> ideas it just goes on forever and it is continuous because again any number we want okay hopefully that made sense this is a nice a nice short sweet section um i hope you enjoyed it we'll see you in the next in the next video